Hello everybody, welcome to my last part with this uh, photo folio or junk, junk journal folio. I'm gonna add the last thing I wanted to add to this journal. There will be flip through in the end and I hope you will enjoy that flip through. And I also hope you will enjoy the last part of this creation. It gave me so much fun and I hope you will find that uh, in that tutorial too. And you will enjoy to create your own writing photofolio. Thank you so much for spending the, all that time with me and grab your tools, grab your supplies and come to craft with me. For a cover of my file folder I'm gonna be using these two designed papers. These with uh, web, spider web and with this print and for uh, kind of like closure mechanism I'm gonna be using this design at label I shared with you this label with the video uh, about those bottles if you catch those freebies uh, you can use them right now if you didn't catch them they are now on buy me a coffee links will be down below also for that video and uh, for a making cover I don't have any thick uh, chipboard so what I'm gonna be using <laughs> are these brown envelopes and I will stack together these envelopes to make a nice and strong cover and I do have quite lots of them so now I can use them if you don't have these envelopes you can always use uh, serrali boxes and glue these pieces together to create nice and strong cover my book is in the size of nine and one quarter. So I'm going to be counting nine and a half for cover by seven is where is ending this one. So seven and one quarter, nine and a half by seven and one quarter with the spine two and one quarter of inch I'm gonna write it down to make sure I will don't forget so I do have my small quote a uh, small note here to make sure I will know how big pieces I will need and I'm gonna start to cut the pieces uh, as I said I'm gonna be using those brown envelopes for the cover and I'm gonna try yeah I think four layers of this uh, cardstock will make nice thickness for my uh, covers so I'm gonna be cutting four pieces for front cover four pieces for back cover in the size nine and a half by seven and one quarter so here I do have all my parts for the cover of the book put together I do have two pieces for spine and these are because spine is two and one quarter so these parts are four inches four by nine and half inch sorry for that nine <laughs> nine so two pieces four by nine in nine and a half inches for the spine that's the similar size as my covers so I will have two spines one here and one here then I do have front cover and back cover these parts are similar nine and half by seven and one quarter so these parts nine and a half seven and one quarter I do have two parts each of them are glued from four pieces of that um, of that old envelope so four pieces I glued together and it's nice and strong now oh that's fine and here I do have um, it will be like cover it this will be like flap of my uh, journal so this it's nine and a half by five inches 
sorry for that writing and this one it's glued from three pieces all together and again it's nice and strong so front the back and that flap uh, pieces i'm gonna all of them cover in this paper this one is okay i do have uh, long pieces of that paper on each of these sides but for front and back cover i do have just part of that paper here on the sides so i'm gonna use some old book pages and i'm gonna glue them here kind of uh, extend uh, that paper so it doesn't have to be perfect this will be invisible anyway and now i do have large piece of paper and it will be much more easy for me to cover my chipboard so i'm gonna put the glue nice amount of glue on all that chipboard gonna flip it over and place it so once you do have your chipboard uh, glued in your paper uh, keep that book page uh, just a slightly down so you can see the edges of your paper here and here and you will make sure that your chipboard will be on the right spot uh, on that print then grab your scissors and with your scissors cut the corners about um, one quarter of inch cut the paper not corners <laughs> cut the paper about one quarter of inch uh, from the corner it will help you to fold the paper around and cover all these corners nicely and neatly And when you are gluing those book pages to that paper, try to, yeah, like me here, try to put the glue to the end of your designed paper so book page will actually get glued properly. It will, and it will help you then to fold that paper without any struggle here. It's, it looks good. So I'm gonna start with this page, uh, with this side. I'm gonna put the glue on my book page and around the corner. grab the chipboard and slide it on my table then fold this where is my bone folder hmm I'm just losing my tool here and with that bone folder i'm gonna press the rest of that paper as you can see that print is not too long and if i will work only with that print it will give me quite hard time so with this extension with those book pages it's helping me to cover that chipboard nicely and that i do have here those book pages it's it's actually okay nobody will see that then do opposite side exactly same way Slide the chipboard and again with bone folder or with ruler kind of like press that paper around the edge And now these corners hold this piece of book page and with bone folder or with ruler kind of push that paper around that corner and press it around that corner you can cut this small strip if you want or you can push it around that corner and really well push it inside to that corner here i'm gonna use my scissors and kind of make that 
that fold crisp same I'm gonna do on that opposite side I'm gonna hold this paper and push that rest inside around the corner and with my bone folder I'm gonna press it all and press this one down and again push everything I can put the glue on that rest of that paper here again over my table grab that paper and push it around same I'm gonna do on the opposite side with my bone folder I'm gonna press that bottom paper and here I'm gonna press that top which I hold it with my fingers same on that opposite side here I do have just small amount so here I'm gonna be working with my fingers because I do have much much better feeling in that I cut this one quite short then apply the glue fold it over the edge and push it all together and that is close look how the corners will looks like and I'm gonna tidy up my table so I do have my three panels done and they are nice and strong even if they are glued together from several pieces of envelope on craft envelope I do have here those two spines for the spine which will cover the spine of the book block this one I'm gonna cover that paper fully with that decorative paper that will be easy to do for that opposite spine I would like to have their window just to have that uh, sneak peek on the pages inside so for that I'm gonna grab my ruler and knife first pencil and ruler and I'm gonna draw This is four inches, so I'm gonna draw, I think one and a half, just sneak peek, just small strip, one and a half, um, yeah, one and a half, one and a half, it will be just peek through to that spine. and one and a half from opposite side one and a half and one and a half and I'm gonna do one and a half from no one and a half from here as well from bottom and top So that rectangle here, I'm gonna cut off this rectangle inside, I'm gonna cut it off like this. Now I can take my decorative paper, glue this on that decorative paper. can play 
this way I don't need that much of decorative paper all around. Inside, I'm gonna cut the slide and from the corners, I'm gonna cut to that slide. And I'm gonna cut also these corners. I'm gonna fold the papers inside first before I will apply the glue to help me a little bit later <clears throat> to glue it nicely. So I'm gonna fold it first. Around the edge of that window. So then I will have beautiful window inside. And now I can apply the glue and start to glue it all together. I'm gonna start with that inside. Grab my bone folder and press it. Put the glue here. So I do have covered this and now those sides, kind of exactly like I did with the covers. First I'm gonna help that paper to fold around the edge and then I will press it around. here around the corners because it's just one chipboard. I'm gonna cut this one off because that will make a bulk and here I will cover it uh, with the paper from uh, in inside so it will be invisible later. I'm gonna lift it up, press around the corner here of the chipboard, press this one and cut this small piece, this small part, I'm gonna cut it off because that will make bulk, will make bulks. Now I can put glue on that wrist. And fold it over the edge and press. And same on the opposite side. I'm gonna fold this, kind of follow the corner of the chipboard, press this together. And cut this one off. I'm 
do same on that opposite side this <clears throat> so I do have one of my spines done on this side which will be I'm gonna grab a piece of acetate I do have here piece I put together with all kind of off cuts I used book page in the background to make sure I can <laughs> Put somewhere my off cuts and all these small bits and pieces I glued on this collage piece so now uh, it will be this way glued on my spine and I need to draw in there that pattern that window so I'm gonna clip it together with paper clips on the spot where I would like to see it Just secure it, you know, to, to make sure it will don't move and I will have that window where I should have that window or where I want to have that window. Now I can take a pencil and draw the pattern. And with the ruler and knife I'm gonna cut the window right next to my drawing about one eighth of inch next to it not exactly how I draw but about one eighth of inch next to it and I'm gonna cut that pattern uh, cut that that rectangle so I do have cut that window and I can show you what I meant that I will cut next to it so now if you will notice I can still see that inside so this will be my cover i do have here piece of acetate which i colored before with some other project and i will use that acetate in that window it does have <laughs> all the inks on it i used alcohol inks brownie and caramel uh, to ink it to kind of like vintage style so that i will glue here and then on it i will glue this paper but not right now first i will need to put all my covers together So I do have wrapped up all my pieces into decorative paper. I need to put them in the right direction. So the spiders are going up. The writing is the right direction. Is it? Yes, it is. This will be front cover. Then will be spine. Then back cover. Another spine. And then front flap. To put these spines on my covers they are four inches wide my book block it's two and one quarter of inch this is two and one quarter of inch and i don't want to have straight spine i want to have spine which will be a little bit curved so i will count for the spines for these two a little bit more than it's two and one quarter of inch and to put them in the right spot i'm gonna make a marks on my front cover from inside like on this side here on the right side here will be uh, glued the spine of my book so on this side i'm gonna draw a line in five eight of inches so i know where to put where to put uh, the spine where to glue the spine so i'm gonna make for myself kind of like helper Five eighths of inch.
and I'm draw a line so then I know how far I can glue the spine and it will be just on one side on the back cover it will be on both sides again five eighths of inch five eighths of inch here and draw a line same on that other side five eight of inch and draw a line and on that last flap the opposite spine will be uh, glued to this side so on this side I'm gonna draw again the, those five eighths of inch So I can see where I should put, how far I can go with gluing that spine on it. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to go from the flap to the back cover and I'm going to finish with front cover. So again, I'm going to check if my paper is the right di direction. Both of them. Yes. going to take a glue, apply the glue. Take the spine of my book and place it to that line I just draw. And I'm gonna follow that line. And press. I'm gonna take back cover, put the glue on the spot where I draw those five eighths of inch. Take this and glue it together and follow my drawing the line and make sure that here and here it's kind of matching I'm gonna let this dry before I will do anything else because of the heavy weight of all this composition I'm gonna secure the spines uh, with those brats I did uh, both these brats long time ago I think it's called paper fasteners and they were gold and I just inked them with alcohol inks colored them with alcohol inks so here I'm gonna make I think for that I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna be working on the covers to make sure I can see where I am and I'm gonna make small marks here where is the middle and I will go about one quarter of inch far from spine I'm gonna make small mark where is the middle then I will go here right here right here here right here and right here so in those spots I'm gonna poke the hole kind of make it easy for those brats to go through And I'm gonna fix the brats one side, opposite side, 
then middle and I'm gonna always press all together and these two And I'm gonna check if I am in the right direction. So this will be up. So this will be up. So now this have to go this way. I'm gonna add the glue to the sides and glue it over this. And press it with my bone folder and let this dry. So I think hopefully it's dry. I'm gonna give it dry and I'm gonna slowly fold the cover and the spine just really slowly. needs a little bit more time and I can move to that uh, next spine so I'm gonna grab my pieces uh, I'm gonna grab my pieces check if I am in the right direction I'm gonna put the glue grab the spine oh yeah I am in the right direction good with the patterned paper and I'm gonna place the spine <coughs> on that drone line and press it with my bone folder kind of push it inside to get the glue and I'm gonna Put the glue on the front cover where I draw the line and do same and then I will wait time long enough to give that glue dry and glued my front and back cover and as before I will use those paper fasteners and I will fix them on the spine and cover. So I do have that uh, spine between front and back cover done as well. It's still drying, so I'm not going to move it anywhere. I'm just going to move this. I'm very sorry I didn't notice my camera. It's paused. So what I did, uh, I did finish the gluing this front spine to that front between back cover and front cover. Then I put this black paper on. And I put the glue on this first flap from the spine of my book block. So this first, that, you know, that's this one. So I put the glue on there and then I glue it. Here is ending the chipboard from my front cover. So I followed that chipboard-ish and I glued there this spine. And my glue is just leaking out. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm gonna put the glue here on this opposite piece so I'm gonna work a little bit with this spine to make it kind of like curved a little bit more then I'm gonna fold this kind of find the end of the back cover and I'm gonna put this together together and fold it over kind of follow the end here the edge of the back cover here I'm gonna follow with this and glue it together I'm pressing all together and I'm gonna glue it this way Kind of follow everything nicely. And now I just need to let it dry. 
So meanwhile, my uh, cover is drying. I'm <laughs> working on my kind of front cover decoration and I was too hurry. I put glossy accent to those eyes and then I started to glue my image on the cardstock. I'm using this uh, same envelopes as a base. I do have already three layers and I touch both, <laughs> both eyes before it got dry. So that's no good. <laughs> Next time I should be more patient and wait till my glossy accent will dry. Anyway, I do have three layers of this cardstock, uh, of that envelope card. And I'm gonna kind of sand all these edges. Try to not touch those eyes again. Then I will distress the edges. And probably once the eyes will be, uh, you know, the, the glossy accent will, will be... Uh, cured. I'm gonna put some mod podge or something as a coat, top coat on all this image. But I have to wait. I have to give that glossy accent time to dry. So I think it's all dry and hopefully it's holding well. Uh, I try to, you know, to, to fold all that spine right next to the chipboards or those Serali boxes to make sure that everything will get folded the right way. And here I folded also this chipboard to kind of make it softer. You can use uh, maybe some, uh, if you do have some thicker stick so fold it over to make that spine a little bit curved and I do have prepared already papers for front cover that will be this one I did glue my composition pocket uh, to the back paper I did cut the back paper in the size uh, one quarter of inch smaller than is the size of my front uh, cover so it will looks like this it does have beautiful frame all around on the edge of that paper over the edge of that paper I glued this composition pocket and I then I did sewing all around and back cover I do have quite similar I cut it in the size of that back cover, a quarter of inch uh, smaller than is size of my back cover, and exactly the same. I did glue this pocket around the edge, and then that, uh, then did that sewing effect. And on this front panel, I just cut it the piece from this striped paper. I'm not gonna glue it yet inside. First, I'm gonna work on front cover closure, and for that, I do have here that uh, label. I did glue it on those three uh, pieces of the envelope cardstock. It's nice and sturdy. So now I do have nice thick paper, and those eyes <laughs> are nearly dry, I guess. <laughs> not the way I thought because I touch it <laughs> and I do have here prepared elastic band this fastener and few circles which I punched from same uh, envelope and I'm gonna create kind of like uh, kind of like step between the cover and between that label so I'm gonna glue three of these circles together Now I'm gonna find the position where I want to have that um, this label and I think I would like to have it right here where are those middle brads so somewhere there I'm gonna glue those three cir circles I'm 
gushing current here. Yes, somewhere here. So now I'm gonna open it, place it this way, and with my poking tool, I will poke the hole in the middle of this. And put that, that uh, paper fastener, and it's just to make sure that the closure will hold properly. And I'm going to fit it here. Press it properly. And on that, I'm going to glue those another circles. So I do have five, uh, five circles more. So I'm going to glue them on the top of this yeah that will be big enough space for the elastic band so three on the bottom under that fastener and three on the top and now here on the top i can glue uh, the school but before I will do so I'm gonna put together uh, my cover I'm gonna slide these edges together here and use paper clips to hold it for now here and here I'm gonna take that elastic band, place it around that uh, circle and kind of make straight position of these elastic bands. And somewhere here I'm gonna make a mark that I should place. I'm gonna place that this one kind of like measurement how far I should go so somewhere here and somewhere yeah somewhere here here and here I'm gonna fix that elastic band so I can open it now I'm gonna take my crocodile and punch the holes where I made those marks so I poke the holes, I'm gonna close one more time the book cover and I'm gonna slide one end into that one hole, place it around and slide there that other end to make sure I know how, uh, how long elastic band I will need. So I'm gonna make a mark here on my elastic band that's somewhere here and I'm gonna hold it make a stretchy you know stretch it a little bit and make a mark here So I made little marks on my elastic band here and here. Hopefully you can see that. So now I know how far I should put that elastic band to that holes. And I'm going to fix it using eyelets. I'm going to slide this here. Put that eyelet as well. Kind of press it all inside. And then fix the eyelet with the crocodile. And same I'm going to do on that opposite side. If I will don't lose my eyelets.
like this and now I'm gonna use I'm gonna use crocodile and fixed eyelet. And now that opposite side, slide it in to that point I made. I'm gonna put my eyelet straight away on my scissors and press it inside and fix the eyelet. Yeah, hopefully it will hold. We will see. I'm gonna cut the elastic band here and here. So I do <laughs> fix my elastic band and I try to glue this uh, school on the top but then uh, I did close it but then it was very uncomfortable to take you know that elastic band around and take it off so <laughs> I'm not gonna be using it it's just too big and <laughs> I decided I'm gonna go with this one I'm gonna make kind of like a very modern style very uh, simple style <laughs> of my top front cover I'm not gonna change it I kind of like it it's <laughs> it looks funny <laughs> so on the top as a closure I'm gonna have these circles and on the top it's haunted and that will be all what I will <laughs> have on the front cover I'm gonna let it dry and show you how beautifully it's holding it's actually holding really well I have to say <clears throat> I can't believe oh. my brain just breathed <laughs> when I was thinking about closure. This is just too big. I should think about that. So I do have haunted there and I'm gonna slide that elastic band around and look how beautifully it's holding. I kind of like this type of closures. It looks so cool I have to say. So <laughs> This is the base or this is the binding of my book and now I can take it off. I have to be still very careful because this is not dry yet and I can put inside those cover papers for front, back and this flap and I think it's time to decorate so I do have here my book and I do have glued my front and back papers all it looks like it's holding nicely so i'm gonna just add here and there some decorations something to add beauty to this <laughs> this book for this first page here i do have prepared this picture and to fix that picture i do have uh, that black paper in the background and I took one of my off cuts which I do have quite lots of them here and I just folded it here so I'm gonna make it kind of like extra kind of like tuck spot or pocket so the picture will be this way and I will open it this way so here will be this trick or treat and haunted house I think it will be nice to have it there so I'm gonna put the glue on these three sides glue it to the edge of that picture the glue here on that fold and 
and just simply place it right here. So I'm gonna let that dry. <clears throat> I would like to have here some kind of closure and for all these uh, kind of like closures and extra bits and pieces I used my dies which I do have. I don't have too many. I do have just a few dies with kind of like Halloween theme. I do have these spider webs, bats and spiders. And they are really great. Look at them. Beautiful spiders. So I'm going to be using these and of course my uh, circles. And because I used on these uh, focal points the film strip, I'm going to be using it here as well. And I'm thinking to do some kind of layout using these and also using my uh, closures I made a long, long time ago. Now these. somehow put it together that I will place maybe in the part of this film strip my closure fix that here and then glue it under I'm gonna do it straight away with this one okay and that was probably wrong. I will have to place it this way. I will need to calculate better. How about you? Okay, that can work. <clears throat> and something that will help me to hold this together and as I said, I do have here so many, so many of these offcuts. So here I do have those parts. I do have this pattern. Oh, maybe schools will be good. And from that, I can use my uh, paper punches and try to punch some small tags. It will be grungy. gonna add their colors <clears throat> poke the hole maybe somewhere here put there that brat oh yes that can be done this way Okay, and maybe I can add that also straight away some more decorations. Mm, I think I will like to have that, that cut. Look 
det här. And poke the hole here. Okay. And fix through to that the bread. Carefully. Oh crap. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm thinking to place it here this way. Then when I will flip it over, I can open it. And this is going exactly to the end. That's perfect. And I'm maybe I'm going to try to stamp in the background some numbers. I do love numbers uh, on my projects. And especially when it's grungy project or, you know, kind of like darkish project. I'm not sure why, but I really like to have their numbers. So I'm going to... Start with number three. Why not? Number three is good number. Okay, that can be there. Perfect. So I can glue it on my page. I'm gonna flip this, slide it here, so I can see the cut, and place it right here. And I can open it and press that rest. And I do have my very small decoration underneath. And that rest I, I'm gonna keep clean, I'm guessing. Here and there I will put some quotes. But this is how I will keep this one. Here I will need to put some quote. It's quite, quite empty. Where is my box of goodies i did some more stamping on off cuts from that manila folder so i did stam some stamping maybe i can use that or maybe i can use something like this thing the spider web I don't have here a spider web I'm gonna keep this <laughs> ghost I'm gonna put that ghost and I'm gonna flip over it's holding good and exactly the same here because it's flying so much i need to put something here and maybe this time 
I can even use something a little bit different. Now it will be too dark. Uh, I used Tim Holtz dies and these black papers to create small uh, envelopes. So maybe I will use them in that in that journal as well. Oh, I will like the very spider web. Yes. So another closure. And I do have here some numbers. Maybe I can use that as well. Okay, this time because this is too, um, kind of like too, too much black, white and th that brownish, uh, missing here this color. So I'm gonna punch some large duck, maybe this one. Okay, so I'm thinking to place it this way and maybe some vault. Maybe this one here. a bit of black. I have to be quiet, it's quite late. And last time I was too loud <laughs> when it was quite late and my sons told me just to be quiet. <laughs> Oh yes, open, open, and put together, teeny mini small cluster. <clears throat> okay, so first I need to find my glue, oh it's over there, I'm gonna glue the spider web on that mini tag. Oh yeah. Mm. 
Now I'm going to place that toxic right here. Now I can poke the hole. And first I need to see where I should poke the hole. How about that number? Oh, I will actually like that number somewhere. Exactly like this. <clears throat> that number I can glue like last thing. Okay. I'm gonna have a look. So around this. Around this thingy. I should place the breath. So I'm gonna do two holes, one here and one here. And fix my breath. I'm gonna put the glue on that pack. Yeah. Lift this up. And place it down right here and make sure it's not in wrong angle. Now I can place that, that number five. And I'm not gonna distress it because it that, that actually looks good because this is quite wide. So it did look good. And I'm going to place it right here. Just a small little cluster. Open it. Close this. Close that. Mm -hmm. So first I'm gonna put there this step. Then the second one. And how about spiders? I think that will be amazing. So I'm gonna put spiders there. Oh, the other way, uh, other day. <laughs> the other day, my younger son found um, spider, um, I don't know how you say that, cocon? Like the eggs in that fluffy thingy on bananas. 
we are so scared if we do have some spider here hidden somewhere we are not sure we rid off of those bananas but you know because we had opened the bag with bananas for three days before he noticed the the eggs um, you know that those eggs in in that spider web in that fluffy thingy so we don't know if we do have some spider big spider here i hope not because i am so afraid of spiders but i like them here <laughs> actually maybe i can put one more somewhere on the on here kind of like continue Oh, yeah so just small embellishments nothing too complicated and not too many I don't wanna overload it I just wanna add small touches here and there and I wanna add especially those closures so my pages will not fly everywhere they will be nicely close But this one, it's very empty, this. So here, I will need to add something. And I'm thinking, maybe this, and maybe some of my... Hmm. Nothing with orange. Oh, this one will be nice. Okay, that... And maybe something more. I'm gonna take a needle and thread and sew my cir circle right here. That will be here on this spot. There will be the bath. The uh, bath. The bottle. And the bath. Okay, but I do have bath here. Maybe I can place some somewhere. Oh, maybe that will be good. That's much, much better. And just this one, and I'm gonna keep it this way. Just small decoration, and uh, I didn't put the glue here, so I can slide something behind. Maybe even that envelope can be placed there. I think that will look cute. So I do have all journal decorated, and I will show you very soon how my extra decorations looks like. Uh, where I have placed them and how I managed them to add them to that journal but I still have few of cuts which I don't want to end up with so from the largest pieces I have created uh, this bunch of tags very easy way then I had from those uh, film strips which I used here where I did use them from those film strips I had those inside pieces so what I did uh, I took just that uh, brown envelope and I punched small circles then I glued them I do have here last one I can do it so I punched these small small circles I think it's three quarter of inch this one 
or half inch. No, I'm not sure. Small circle, I glue one from one side. Then I took another one. Glue that other one from opposite side. Like this. Press it nicely together. If is it possible to keep it somehow in the middle of that card. And once it was glued and the glue was dry, I just punched the holes. And I do have these cute mini tags. And I do have a bunch of them. So now I'm making kind of like mini um, loaded envelopes with all these things. Um, I did on the leftovers from that manila folder uh, I just stamped these leftovers cut them on the pieces and now I'm making kind of like mini envelopes which I will add to that journal with all that stuff like extra decorative elements so then maybe when the picture is placing inside these can be used like decoration like an embellishment So just very easy way making little envelopes, loaded envelopes, just very simple loaded envelopes. <coughs> do have one here, <laughs> very simple one. I do have that, that tag, this bottle, uh, one bath, and here that circle and stamp tag. So here I can add one of these tags. And I'm using these uh, safety pins. They are in the perfect color for Halloween. And I can actually hang it also here around those large tacks. Or here around that thread. So they can be unclipped anytime and put as decoration maybe on tacks or on pictures. So something like that. And I do have inside few dies. Here I can place maybe even that spider. So I'm making this kind of mini, mini envelopes loaded with my with uh, with these small bits and pieces. So maybe spider web and punch the hole. And with that thread, I'm gonna wrap the envelope all around. And this I can hang here. So really very easy way to put together kind of like decorative elements and I can place it to those pockets. So I'm gonna finish these. And this is how my Halloween folio looks like. Uh, I hope you did enjoy this series of making this folio. I added inside just kind of like plain cards and uh, plain tags to show what can be put inside. I did use my dies for die cutting the shapes from uh, craft paper like these. These are from Studio Lights, I think. I'm gonna have a look. Yes, <laughs> all of them are from Studio Lights, dies which I used. So these, oh, not this one, but all of these, these um, kind of like, how is it called? It? Mm, Rolodex, yeah. Rolodex cards. So I do have a few shapes of dies. They are all from Studio Light Essentials, I think, all of them. These essentials and essentials, and then I do have happiness. So I used these dies, and shapes are inside, and also this one. They are really beautiful dies, and I do have them, I think, for a year. And I forgot to use them, so yesterday I was digging in my stuff to add to this folio some kind of nice inserts. So I add them there. Then I added also this postcard. So new owner can try 
kind of like postcard art which I felt in love lately so my my own <laughs> postcard art is included which is kind of in Halloween theme so it's in this pocket and then so many of these small note cards for making notes there are also extra kind of like uh, photo mats I would say opening inserts where can be written something down here can be put a picture or can be something write down on the uh, black paper I will include also a white gel pen to make it make sure that new owner will have a straight away some pen to use it in this journal and as you can see you can't see those envelopes and that's because when I try to put them in it just was too <laughs> too bulky <clears throat> so because it was too bulky I decided to create also one more kind of like folder I will show you straight away just gonna show you what I included I try to remember all these pockets which I made to make sure that new owner and it's sold already so thank you so so much so uh, new owner will have lots of space and will kind of find all these pockets and will know that uh, lots of notes and uh, lots of you know small journaling cards can be put inside and I do believe that through the Halloween holiday there is so many occasions to make a picture you know to write a small story so I do have in these pockets kind of like a uh, blank cards mostly or cards like this and I tried to use these uh, adverts vintage adverts which were on the sale this week so they can be used really like beautiful decoration and here again that large I just love this edge it's so beautiful and it's just because of that great uh, die metal die from studio light I will type down the names of these dies if you want to have a look if they are somewhere <clears throat> for sale pardon me I'm getting dry my throat I will need to drink a water so there is so many pockets so many spaces to put your notes here And I think this can be actually used as a journal as well. You don't have to use it uh, as a photo album or... Uh, yeah, as a photo album, you can actually use it as your journal because if you will use white pen for these and then on these uh, blank cards, you will write something with blue pen, black pen. It can be perfect journal. Very interesting. Here I added <laughs> my previous <laughs> kind of top uh, top cover front cover po um, focal points which didn't work but I thought it have to be in this journal in this folio because I made it for that so this is how my folio looks like I really hope you did enjoy this series and thank you so so much to everyone who stayed with me I know I was a little bit quiet through to that journal I didn't um, talk too much happy it was just because um, month of October it's not actually too much uh, happy happy month for my family so I think it was the craft is always helping me to go through to you know to to sad days so I do love craft so much it's helping my uh, my head to to relax and to be more happy yeah more happy so it does have so many pockets I think that's why I made it I do love make a pocket it makes me happy to create a pocket in my journals and that's why it happened this one 
I needed to, to cheer up myself. So this was big help for me. That was so relaxing for me to create this, this folio. It just made me so happy. And if you watch my journals, you, you know that I do love all kind of pockets and openings. So that's why it happened to this. To cheer me up. And I hope that it will cheer up new owner as well. So here I added just this, uh, this card. This can be open. And as you can see, really so many, so many cards can be at inside. I'm not going to open this one because it's kind of similar. So, so many cards can be put inside with small notes. And <clears throat> I didn't add there all these envelopes just because it was really too bulky. The, the closure did hold it <clears throat> nicely, but I didn't like that look. So, I made this one. It's inspired by... Um, boards which we had when I was singing with our school uh, choir and we had uh, we had desks uh, kind of like boards and uh, in those boards were slide to the pockets or music sheets and it was open like this so always when we was singing here was music sheet there was one song another song another song you know, on that uh, on that class. So inspired by that, I created this holder for all these envelopes with all these uh, ephemeras and tags and stuff like that. So it can be closed like this. Here are extra papers. Here are uh, scraps. So they can be used for small layouts. And this is totally inspired by boards I had when I was singing. I can't sing anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm singing sometimes. <laughs> In bathroom, yeah. Like usually. <laughs> I think it's best best space to sing. Because of eco. Oh, shoot! Spider! I'm glad you are not alive. So, that's all what I will show you today. I'm gonna slide you right no i'm gonna slide you somewhere here here you've got a fella over there so that's all what i'm gonna show you today thank you so so much for joining me if you stay till now if you saw all my videos thank you very much for your patience and <laughs> for staying with me and going with me through to this creation i hope you found some inspiration in this i hope you did enjoy it and I really hope you enjoyed all these freebies. They will be there forever. So if, if you missed first row, maybe it's one year late when you are watching this one. Uh, go to click on that link down below and grab your freebies. Uh, it will be there forever to make you happy. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I wish you happy Halloween. Enjoy this month and enjoy your uh, your creations. And I hope I will see you soon. If you like this video, please share that with your friends. Help me to grow up this channel. I will be forever thankful. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.